What is going on guys, Spiders 3 with the Gucci Games here. And I got a little Call of Duty Black Ops 2 game for you on cargo. Running the vector with the red dot sight and... Oh! He thought he got me. <laughs> Anyways, this is a pre-recorded uh, game. I just wanted to talk a little bit about... Um, stuff that's going on with the channel. Like we're having a giveaway that you'll see tomorrow or today. Later today, depending on when I post this video, um, we were planning on doing a giveaway for all of our subscribers to basically give back for the year that you had with us because it's been a crazy year. We've gained about 3,000 subscribers over the year of 2012, so it's been a really good year for us. Um, we just like to thank every single one of you. We wish we could give every single person uh, something for sticking with us being loyal to us but we're not <laughs> we're not rich so what we're doing is we're giving away two shirts uh, you'll see the video later today or tomorrow depending on when I post this video and basically one's a Call of Duty shirt it says Call of Duty Midnight Launch Event or something like that the other one is a Mass Effect 3 shirt so you have a chance to win either one of those shirts all you have to do is comment on the video, Offering not this video. You'll see it, and um, you have a chance to win that. They're both extra large, I believe. Then we're also doing another giveaway for 1600 Microsoft points. We're actually doing two giveaways, so we're going to give two 1600 Microsoft point codes out. And um, we may give away something else, I don't know. It depends on um, if we find anything else that we're going to give away, or we decide to give away more stuff. Uh, we had to uh, had to talk to PZ about that, but yeah. So look out for those videos. We will be having a giveaway for you subscribers to uh, basically thanks, thank you for uh, sticking with us and checking out all our stuff. So yeah, um, back to the gameplay, I guess. I'm playing <laughs> playing kill confirmed because that's I don't know that's my favorite game mode on this game for some reason. Because it seems like you get the most points. You get a kill, and you get 50 points for a kill, or you get a kill, then you pick up the tags. So you get 100 for the tag, 50 for the kill, and then if you deny a kill, you get 25 points. So it's a really like high point-based game. It seems like I get the most points in this game type. Because when I'm uh, when it's double XP, I just get astronomical amount of points. I like rank up three times in one game. Like today I was level 20 and then I ended up being level 41 by the time I stopped playing because of double XP weekend. As you know, uh, Call of Duty is doing double XP weekend this weekend. I have no idea why. I think it's their launch of the actual league games because, um, you know, they have the league playlist. I think it's the actual launch of that because before that it was all practice. Now I think it's actually uh, your, your wins count against you and stuff. We checked that out a little bit. Um, I think we were like three and one. We played enough to get our team ranked, and then we stopped playing it because you don't get any XP, and we all wanted XP in the beginning of the game. So we may check that out actually after it officially launched, and we may film some matches that we do in league play. So um, also, if you have the season pass of Call of Duty, uh, Nuketown Zombies was made available yesterday on the 13th or the 12th or something like that and um, I don't know I'm kinda I'm kinda mad about that because I did buy the the hardened edition thinking that okay I'm gonna get an extra zombie map for free basically and then I buy the season pass because I know I'm gonna get the, the maps anyways and then just throw it in the season pass like for free like they're just like oh here have a zombies map like why did I pay the extra $20 to get the Hardened Edition if you're just going to uh, throw it in your Season Pass later? You should at least give me a Season Pass or made that separate from everything else. Like, it's, I just paid $70 for a steel case and getting the map like basically a month early. The game hasn't even been out. The game has been out like a month and a couple of days. That's it. Then they decided to just release it. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of pissed off about that, but whatever. Um, yeah, so as you know, maybe you don't know, school just ended for me. Um, I'm in college, so we do semesters, and 
I have winter break. I don't go back until February, so you're going to see a lot more content from me. Um, since I will have time, I don't have schoolwork to work on or anything like that. Um, yeah, so just asking you guys, I know a lot of new games came out. We, we do focus on a variety of stuff, but we have been noticing that you guys like Minecraft and like Total Miner and stuff like that. Just, just wondering what you guys want to see more from us because we do like to jump around a lot well at least I do PC usually just sticks with Minecraft Pocket Edition but if you want us to play a specific game then we may do a series on like that specific game one day or we may do co-op if you want to co-op because we did get Far Cry 3 both of us did and we may do the co-op uh, campaign for that if you guys are interested in seeing that um, or we may do some Minecraft on the PC because we do have Minecraft on the PC. We do have Minecraft on the Xbox. We're waiting for that uh, that new update on the Xbox Minecraft to come out where you can breed animals and do all that stuff. We may make a big farm. Um, people who are asking about the Hunger Games map, we are going to try to start that up. Um, we haven't really been able to do it since I have been busy with school as well as PZ been busy with work. But now since the holidays are rolling around, we may be able to do that on Total Miner um, as well as Minecraft because we do have it on each We do have it on each um, game. We did make a map on each game. So we may, we may do some matches for that as well as the arena matches. Um, I'll have to ask my my friend to open his map and we may do some arena matches and film them like we did the other ones. But other than that, um... Oh! RCXD! Other than that, um... That's pretty much it for updating you guys on what's going on, really. So I guess I'm just going to, uh... Commentate the rest of this game, and if I think of something, then I will tell you about it. Um, I've been experimenting with the guns. Um... As you see, I'm using the Vector right now. Uh, in the beginning of the game, when I first used the Vector, it was really crappy, for me at least. I don't know. And then, all of a sudden, I picked one up from a dead body, and I seem to do better with other people's guns than I do with my own gun setup. So, I picked up someone's gun, and they had this setup, so I just stuck with it, and then I've been using it. And it ended up being really good for me. So, I've been using the Vector, and then I prestiged and lost it, so then I had to wait till level 15, level, blah, 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 level 15 to unlock it again, but I ended up unlocking this, the Scorpion, since it is the last gun, you get a high level, and you have a unlock token, so you can unlock any gun you want. Um, so I ended up locking, unlocking the Scorpion, I've been using that a lot. The Scorpion is just straight up beast, it's like... Especially with the silencer and uh, I use the silencer, quick, quick draw grip, and the what's it called? Silencer, quick draw grip, and uh, what am I trying to say? Silencer, quick draw grip, and the red dot. I think I use, not the red dot. The, the laser, the laser thing that makes it so you're. Um, so you can uh, hip fire more. That setup is straight awesome. Especially on close quarters, like if you're playing Newtown or a small map, you don't even have to aim down the sights, you just hip fire and you usually get a kill. So that setup is pretty beast. Um, I usually don't use my secondary, so I usually use either perk greed where I get an extra perk or I use primary primary uh, weapon where I get a th three perks. I don't know what I was doing in there. Yeah, so anyways, this video is winding down to the end. Right now I am 23 and 12 with 21 confirms. I don't know. Every time I play Kill Confirmed, I usually get... Um, I usually get more kills than I do confirms because people like stealing it. And I have... The people I play with are hypocrites to this. They're always like, you're stealing my tags, man. What the heck? It's like, um... People are going to steal my tags, so I'm just trying to basically even it out by getting the tags that I deserve. It's not my fault. Like, I'm not going to stop and be like, okay, go get the tags. 
that's just gonna give me a kill. So if your tags are on the ground, I'm just gonna go get them. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna nick pit about what's going on or whatever. So anyways, I went 26 and 25. Yeah, I went 26 and 25, top of my team. I went even, so it's all right, I guess. So yeah, we ended up winning. That's kill confirmed on cargo using the vector. Thanks for watching. And peace.